Oh, look! Cheese in a bucket! <laughs> Cheese in a bucket. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition with Frixos. We're in Crestwood. We have just uh, come out of the Bog of Eternal Stench. And we uh, are headed back to New Crestwood to uh, talk to the mayor and let him know that all of his problems are solved. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't pick that up because our inventory is full. Uh, but I do think there's a bit of... Yeah. We'll just, you know, pick up some elf fruit to feed our addiction. Ooh, royal elf fruit. Elf fruit? Elf fruit. <laughs> elf fruit might be a completely different thing. Oh, what a lovely day. After closing an underwater rift, apparently that changes the weather. than I thought it should have, really. Alright, let's see where we're going. Well, first of all, let's see where the hell we are. Uh, oh, there's Crestwood. That's, that looks like Crestwood. How convenient. going home. Except apparently Solas, who's in the way. I need to watch where I'm going. Let's see. Let me get my bearings here. There we go. Hello. Thank you, Inquisitor. The dead are finally where they should be. You're welcome. I know. Don't stop what you're doing. I'm awesome. Okay. It's quiet for the first time in weeks. Is there anything we can do? Just ask. Ew, thank you so much, darling. Thank you so much. What is over here? I cannot tell. Oh, it's Alfred. <clears throat> I think we're okay. I think that's probably for the firewood pile, just personally. You got rid of that glow in the lake. Will the dead leave us be? Who can say? But you need to weed your house. All right, let's see what's up with this guy who locked himself in. I think he left. I'll have to bring a rogue back. Oh, yes, let's, uh, well, let's go talk to the mayor and then we'll offload, well, no, let's offload some junk, just some junk.
We won't forget the Inquisition help from no one else would, I promise. Thank you so much. What do you mean the mayor's gone? He rode out an hour ago. We spotted him from Byers Field. He didn't even stop the wave. Maybe he's getting help. What for? The dead are gone. Mayor Dedrick's lived here 50 years. He wouldn't abandon us. He's been acting strange ever since the Inquisitor drained the lake. Hmm. Well, his house is no longer completely drenched. Letter of confession. Inquisitor was not Darkspawn that opened that dam and flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago. I did, in secret, the night they attacked. The undead you have been fighting her people I killed with my own hands. We'd taken in refugees from the Blight. Many were ill. We moved the sick to the lower part of Crestwood and the refugees into the caves to stop the disease from spreading. It didn't work. One confessed he'd seen Blight sickness before. It was always fatal. When the Darkspawn attacked, I knew the only way the village would survive is if the Blight sick drowned with the monsters. I cannot bear the sight of old Crestwood now that the water is gone. I cannot stay. I'm sorry. Mayor Gregory Dedrick. A letter of confession from the mayor. It says he was the one who flooded old Crestwood ten years ago to stop the blight from spreading. The mayor's racked with guilt. If he hadn't confessed, I doubt we'd have found out. Mm. What a sad mess. Will the Inquisition bring him in? Who can say? The Anderfells are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate place in all the world, for two blights have left great expanses of the steppe so completely devoid of life that corpses cannot even decay there. No insect or grub will ever reach them. It is a land filled with wonders like the Merdane, with its gigantic white statue of Our Lady carved into its face, her hands outstretched and bearing an eternal flame, or Weishaupt Fortress, with its walls of living rock towering over the desolate plains below. The Anders, too, are a people of extremes, the most devout priests and the most deadly soldiers, the poorest nation in the world and the most feared. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Genitivi. Your gossip friend is gone. Well, that's that, I suppose. Let's go talk to Sister What's Her Face. Or I might have already talked to her. I can't remember now. <laughs> Your Worship. I've already found the remains of the people who died in Old Crestwood. I said I'm trusting. I didn't imagine you'd look yourself. Well, you know. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. It is all too rare these days. I will prepare the bodies for cremation. I know. I'm amazing. It will do us good to hold rights with the ones we lost so long ago. Thank you again. No sweat. All right. I think we may have completed our quest in Crestwood. Oh, since we have a uh, fast travel. Let's see what else we got going on. Thirty, you got the bandits. Oh well. So I guess we got some business out here. And oh yes, <laughs> we need to go back to our our. Um, I was going to say friendly spirit, but that's more like a Casper thing. What is the spirit? Though the spirit of command. What's up, Howie? Inquisitor. Okay, nothing apparently. 
Let's take a, a wee peek. Oh yes, someone likes to take all my obsidian. Harriet, I am not too thrilled with you just now. Old Crestwood does not improve in the light of day. Is this our friend? Yes. The rage demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubt. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. <laughs> Your reward. Use it well. A spirit such as that could not leave here until it had proven its nature. Well, okay. And what did we get? It was an amulet of something. I missed it. Oops. Oh, if I could hit the right buttons here. Amulet of power for coal. Well, I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. <clears throat> Doesn't do anything for me, but especially since I'm not really carrying around coal. Aw, I never noticed they were in their bunk beds. All of them. Let's head over to the camp. Inquisitor. Yeah, I'm not playing that game with you again, Howie. There's our bandits. Oh. It's a little too far away. Hello, can we get up a hill? Oh my gosh. Shabby. I think you just have to kill bandits until there are no more. Or fade dogs. Here, have a static cage. Can I do static cage? No. Apparently no. Aww. I scared the doggy. Ha! Can't even jump at me. was productive, but not towards our end goal of weeding out the bandits. So, on we go, darlings. Let's see what the Astrarium cave holds for us. 
and hopefully I have enough room in my inventory to take whatever it has for us. Because I really didn't sell too much. Obsidian. Always useful. Ah, the plague of Tadarian. Now I see why they wear so much fur. <laughs> Poor Dorian, are you cold? So sorry. Let's go back out in the sunshines. Mm -mm. Here come the rest of his pack, too. Come on, hurry it up. Let's go. Haven't got all day. I'll take you on from here. Of course, my whole crew will come to you. Because they are foolish. I'm about to get attacked, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> okay. On we go. see who's I think that was the staff right the blade of Tadarian you know it's never very good at wielding it because you know it's a sword it's a m magical sword slash staff but you end up wielding it like a sword but you don't have the army the armor the armor to support playing with it like a sword so Let's see. Archon Dedarian was of indisputably low birth. He learned swordplay and tactics at his leg legate father's knee before his magical talent drew attention and Archon Aldemaris. Almadrius, rather, <laughs> took him as an apprentice. When Dedarian inherited the throne, the magisters declared him unfit to rule. A soldier's son, with no dreamer blood to speak of, uh, in the civil war that followed, Dedarian took to the field himself, fighting with a blade like a commoner and casting spells as only an archon could he carved and burned a brutal path across deventer before he died on the battlefield sword in hand wow sounds great well, let's wear it around for a little bit and see uh, let's see how much we hate it <laughs> maybe we won't hate it i don't know this will probably be something that would come in uh more handy once you have the um Oh my gosh, what is that power? The knight... What is this one? The spirit blade power. Uh, I... Maybe. But, but then you have a different... Completely different spirit... You have a different blade. You wield a different weapon. So... Oh, anyway, we'll just see how this goes. And I am still looking for bandits. I got plenty of dogs. Ooh, look! Dragon! I am not, I, we're not ready for that. <laughs> I, you know, you have to get to a certain point with a, with a really well-balanced crew before you start taking on the dragons in this game. Um, and I can only imagine it's going to be a bit more challenging than that with an all-mage crew, because I don't have a tank. And of course, Vivian, because she's got that spirit blade power, uh, likes to rush in and hit things. So... We're probably going to need some better armor and fire protection and all that good stuff, which we don't have. And here are our bandits. Hello, darling. 
Or, yeah, see, I cannot cast spells. Well, I can cast some. But I can't cast a regular. Yeah, I can't just cast the one-off spells. Where are you? There you are. Oh, come here. Is that it? I guess so. A charred note. I saw what those bandits did to Randall's farm. Enough's enough. Even if I can't stay, he stay here, I'm not letting the sodding highwayman take my home from me. If any of you slugs can read, I set the fire with heaps of dried cow dung. Hope you like sifting through, a through the ashes. Clever. Oh, look. Cheese in a bucket. <laughs> cheese in a bucket. Oh, that's a yoke. So that's a, a piece of cheese in, I guess, the either the water, the water carrying bucket or the milk carrying bucket. Anyway cheese in a bucket. Thank you, Bioware. Oh, well. Probably don't need to go that way. Just, yeah, that looks like a very dangerous shortcut. We shall take those supplies. Thank you very much. All right. Where are the rest of our bandits? Wyvern's Watch. How aptly named. <laughs> a mug and a bottle of wine indicate this sheltered spot may have once been a popular place to enjoy the view. Someone has carved Milton and Lonnie into the side of the bench. Well, I... I did they knew that were... They must have been uh, a farseer, because guess what? <laughs> Certainly is a good place to watch that wyvern. Oops, wrong button. Put it away, Missy. Oh, there's more bandits. Let's go get them. Surprise, fellas. Ha. Ah. Guess what? You're not going nowhere. Okay, so I guess I don't hate it. <laughs> it's not that bad. But the question is, is it giving me two-handed uh, credits and XP? Because, you know, she's wielding it like a two-hander. I'm just wondering. Alright, did I... Oh, I don't know if we did it. Are we done? I didn't think so. Okay. So, just a few more. We'll head back out to the road. Since, you know, it seems like a bandit type of thing to do to patrol the road for victims. I hear poopy dogs, yep. There are a lot of wolves. Come on, one more set of bandits, guys. Oop, 
Wow, that was an interesting change of view. Oh, Truffalo scared me. Oh, stuff. Uh, well, I'm assuming his stuff or her stuff. Aha, there we go. There are our last set of bandits. Let's get the guy with the shield. Come on in. Ah, oh, well, that sucked. Oops, one more. All right, I'm kind of liking the blade, I have to admit. I think just the first time I used it, I didn't. I automatically tried to do just your base attack, your base mage uh, staff attack, and found that I, all I do, was doing was swinging in, uh, in empty air. So, yeah, what can I tell you? I'm not too bright. <laughs> so I... So I tended to stay away from it, but I'm glad I experimented again. It's uh, it's actually I'm liking it. Uh, let's see how how well this one can be upgraded. I didn't actually look. Uh, we can put a rune on it and area of effect damage, which is nice. So I think that's it. Yes. Are we done with bandits? We are done with bandits. Excellent. One more thing. I'm going to go find one of our lost spies. Uh, except there are still bandits. <laughs> well, you never get rid of those, the marauders. Well, and they were not necessarily bandits at this point. They're probably uh, venatory. Like, uh, oh yeah, that's one of our big guys, huh? Bloody papers. This stack of papers is so blood-soaked, the pages stick together. Only a few lines are still legible. After knowing who he truly serves, it was an easy thing to discover his compatriots. I lifted a list of their spies from one before I left. We have little time before the theft is discovered, so I advise we move post-haste. I was followed, but do not fear. I lost my pursuers in Leeds. Only our closest friends know my final destination. Butcher. Oh dear. Reinforcements. They will show no mercy. We must do the same. That's right. Take that. Oof. Foot Soldier Pauldroon. I don't know what that does for me. Oops. Hello. Everybody's a little on edge now. Should we go save a Druffalo and maybe kill it by accident? And there goes Vivian. <laughs> Look at me. I'm still trying to use my base attack. And we've ticked off the buffalo. The druffalo. Oh, crap. Well, had to see that coming. That really is not a bad weapon. I'm so pleased. Let me so get pleased. this straight, Solus. You're an apostate, neither Dalish nor city elf, who lived alone in the woods studying spirits. Is that a problem for you? No, no. You're a special and unique snowflake. Live the dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Boom! So let's... <laughs> Woo! I think that was Alistair's cave, right? So, uh, I think we're all done here. I think we're all done. Yep. All right. See so, you. Head over to Kerbronek. See what uh, Charter's got going on. Well met, Your Worship. I found Butcher's corpse by the South Road. Red Templars ambushed me afterward. Only our highest operatives knew he was coming tonight. I must inform Sister Nightingale we have a traitor. What's happening in Crestwood? The dragon circling the lake looks hungrier than usual. Travelers on the road will be scarce until it's gone. Anything else? What's happening in Crestwood? The dragon circling the lake looks okay. hungrier than usual. Travelers on the road will be scarce until it's gone. Farewell. Let's pick up a rogue. So here we are, Elf, cleaning up another human mess. What would the Inquisition do without our stabilizing influence, Master Tethras? I assume they just start burning things. <laughs> that does sound like most humans I know. Oh, <laughs> came all this way. Can't even use them. Well. All right, uh, well, we're done, so back to Skyhold. And the dragon, she will have to wait. Don't think I'm at all strong enough for that. Once again, my standards are headless. Not that they are improved by having grinning skulls, but why do these always end up without the tops? It's very strange. Glitchy. All right, where am I going? Actually, I think this is probably a great place to stop. We've finished up Crestwood and um, probably need to do some housekeeping type stuff like uh, shifting around goods and selling some stuff off, making new armor, uh, maybe, maybe with some better cold and, and uh, fire protection. So uh, so I will say, Alfita Saint, thanks for joining me thus far. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and leave a comment to let me know what you think um, and if there's any suggestions. Uh, and what you think of the Blade of Tadarian yourself. Uh, if you've used it, if you haven't used it, uh, planning to use it, or whatnot. Anyway, thanks and we'll see you next time.